Thank you for staying with us. GovTech, the premier conference for government and industry leaders, gets underway tomorrow. It is an event that focuses on the information and communications technology sector in South Africa. The event will bring 2,500 international African government decision makers and others together. We now speak to Molafeshi Hawe, CETA Acting Managing Director. Molafeshi, thank you so much for speaking to us uh, this afternoon. 2,500 uh, various leaders and this in its 14th year. What have you achieved over the last 14 years and what can we expect over the next few days? Good afternoon for, for having me and afternoon the viewers at home. We are expecting quite a lot in this year 2022 GovTech being the, the 14th year that we are hosting this event. We are expecting a lot of exhibitions from both the, the, the organization in the ICT sector, including an increased number of SMMEs that will be participating in the conference. We are expecting uh, industry leaders, both from the public sector and the private sector, to share with us ideas and insights within the ICT space, and just to come together in one roof to collaborate and to share ideas and to share knowledge on the ICT space. Now, let's go back 14 years ago and juxtapose that to today, 14 years later. What are some of the achievements that you've been able to achieve courtesy of GovTech? There's been quite a lot of achievements coming out of GovTech. If you, you understand, GovTech is a platform uh, for ICT firms to really come together and exhibit and showcase their innovations. Some of the greatest ideas, when you look at some of the automation on the, the application for your identity, identity document, your passport. It's some of the discussion that started from GovTech, and GovTech was a quite a good catalyst to ensure that we bring that to a reality. So if you apply for an ID copy today, ID, ID identity copy today versus 14 years ago, the process is much more quicker, much more faster, and very much digitized. Well, I suppose there is uh, very few people would, would agree about it. Well, I suppose it could be quicker, but it's not nearly quick enough. What, what role uh, does GovTech can play in enhancing uh, certainly the, the operations of the various uh, government departments? Is there a, a continual uh, relationship, uh, if, if you will? There is definitely a continual relationship if you look at GovTech, GovTech over the years. Uh, and, and also CETA being quite at the center of the conference itself. I mean, really the role that CETA plays in this process in GovTech is to ensure that we are able to coordinate and bring together all the role players to ensure that they are able to share those ideas. And at the end of the day, it's really a platform that brings both the public sector and the private sector together. And then we are able to come up with those solutions that eventually will result in improvement and enhancement of service delivery to our citizens, citizens at large. We must accept that we're not where we want to be at this point in time. But I must say quite a lot of progress has been made and there's quite a lot more to be done uh, using ICT to enhance service delivery to our citizens at large. Now, despite the adoption of, of ICT, I mean, when, we, when we look at the statistics in South Africa, only about one7 uh, percent of rural households um, across the country uh, have internet connection. How does this relate to government departments in rural South Africa? I think one of the, the funny enough, one of the topics, interesting enough, one of the topics that will be discussed in, in, in the program is, is, is digital inclusion. And really the objective of that topic is to ensure that we don't leave anyone behind. We do understand that there's quite a lot of work that needs to be done on the infrastructure itself to use of ICT and digital technologies. And one of the, 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 the strategic projects of government is SA Connect. And the whole intention of the project is to ensure that we can bring everyone on board, especially the, you know, the privacy excluded, uh, to ensure that they're able to get the full benefits of the services that can be rendered using ICT. So there's quite a lot of work that's been done, uh, like I mentioned, SA Connect being one of the strategic projects of government to ensure that we can include everyone within the, uh, the ICT space to be you know, included in getting the benefits of the, the connection digitally. 
Molaflehi Hawe, Acting Managing Director of CETA. Thank you so much for your time and taking us through ahead of GovTech, uh, which begins this week.